Welcome everybody and thank you all for taking time out of your busy days to join us for today's webinar for Home Advisor members. Let me start with some introductions. My name is Mitch Anderson. I've been with Home Advisor for coming up on 10 years. I started in sales here. From there I moved into sales management. From there I went into managing one of our customer care teams and then about five years ago I moved into training and development where I've been ever since. My co-host today is David M.G. David has eight years with Home Advisor. David also started in sales, moved to the customer care world, and currently is a manager in our sales organization. Welcome, David. Yeah, good to be here. Thank you. So let's take a quick look at what we'll be covering today. We're going to do a brief little Home Advisor 101. We'll talk about some programs and tools designed to help you, the service professionals, maximize your benefit from our system. We'll go over some best practices and strategies. We'll touch briefly on the importance of your member profile, the critical element of ratings and reviews. We'll talk about using contact rate and good response times to maximize your work. And we'll talk about return on investment management and expectations. We'll chat briefly about billing. We'll also cover some member discounts. So, real briefly, Home Advisor is a platform that connects 6 million consumers a year that have a need in or around their home or business with our screened and rated service professionals, such as yourselves, of which there are currently over, I think we're over 90,000 now, aren't we, David? Close, in, close to 92,000 uh, as of the last update. Yeah, getting up there. Cool. Uh, that makes us the country's largest network of screened and rated, rated service professionals. And speaking of screened and rated service professionals, as members of the Home Advisor Network, you're all competing with other similarly situated professionals. It creates a more level playing field for you as opposed to trying to compete with some of the outfits you no doubt come across that might be cutting corners in areas such as licensing and compliance and so forth. So as I mentioned, we are the largest uh, network of screened and rated home pros in the United States. We are fulfilling about half a million homeowner service requests each and every month, and those are comprised of over 500 discrete different types of home projects. So how do the homeowners get to Home Advisor? How do they find us and thus you? The vast majority of our homeowners and consumers come to us through HomeAdvisor.com. We also have exclusive partnerships with the websites you see on the screen here, such as Better Homes and Gardens, This Old House, and so forth. The only way consumers can find you on any of these sites is if you are a member of Home Advisor. And to make a long story short, I think it's fair to say that if homeowners or business owners are online looking for something they need done in or around their home or business, They'll be pretty hard pressed to avoid coming across Home Advisor. Would you agree with uh, that? Absolutely. David? You know. All right. So let's take now a little look at the consumer experience as they come into the Home Advisor uh, process. Our Home Advisor, our homeowners are going to be asked to complete a four-page questionnaire prior to being matched with one of our service professionals. The information we're going to request of those homeowners includes. Uh, geographic information, details unique to the job, the job status, as well as the time frame for completion, and all homeowner contact information. All right, yeah, so as Mitch talked about right there, that's the consumer process um, on how they submit the service request. Very important to point out that when the match is made, we're going to notify you all, the service professional, as quickly as possible. So what we're going to want to go over is uh, how the program works and tools and tricks that is going to help you increase your contact uh, with your matches, as well as tools to help you convert more leads to billable work. 
Now, we realize that a lot of you out there probably have uh, you know, different uh, features on your own specific membership. So what we're going to stick to for the purposes of this webinar is universal features that are part of every membership that Home Advisor offers. Membership, of course, in and of itself is designed to help boost your online reputation. I don't have to tell you out there. You all have been you know, in the trade for 10, 15, 20, some of you probably 30 plus years and know that uh, you know, word of mouth is really the lifeblood of any good service professional. With Home Advisor membership, what we're looking to do is complement that word of mouth and really bring your, that word of mouth business online where it's got a longer life and can help you uh, to sustain even business over the course of the year. One of those ways, you'll see right at the top of the screen there, uh, is ratings and reviews. This is word of mouth at its finest. Companies that stick with us that accumulate those ratings and reviews over time find that their online reputation becomes like gold. Okay, so how does the lead look like for you? There's a couple of different ways that you can get notified uh, that when a match has been made. Uh, like I mentioned before, our goal is to make sure that we're getting those notifications to you in the quickest way possible. Uh, you should be receiving your matches within 45 to 60 seconds, uh, which we do that for a reason. That's so you can follow up with that homeowner as soon as possible. Ideally, you want to get them while they're still sitting at their computer thinking about their project, right? David, can I jump in a little story Please do, there? absolutely. I was talking to one of our homeowners who uh, was sharing with me that uh, the first time she used us to uh, submit a service request, she was really pleasantly surprised when it worked exactly the way we want it to, which is she hit submit on that service request and her phone started ringing. Huh. And she th it was shared with me that uh, on subsequent service requests, I think she's up to about three or four now, nice. as they moved into an older home with some issues, she started warning her husband, hey, honey, I'm about to hit submit. Make sure we're off the phone. The phone's <laughs> going to start ringing. And then he sh she shared with me that she said, you know, that – she, she said, do your contractors understand what a wow experience that creates for us as a homeowner oh, yeah. when we hit submit and boom, the phone starts ringing? Absolutely. And, and you know, to Mitch's point there, right, this homeowner used HomeAdvisor, you know, three, four times. Um, guys, we have homeowners that use HomeAdvisor exclusively, uh, and they, they develop an expectation on what that follow-up should look like, right? So what are we looking at on the screen here? This is what your notification should look like. On the left-hand side of the screen, that's when you log on to your account. So you've got 24-7 access to your Home Advisor account. When you log on and go to your lead center, this is what you'll see. It's an archive of every match that we've ever sent you. That's going to have the uh, homeowner's phone number as well as any notes that they've put in. It also allows you to stay organized on which leads you've converted to work, which ones are still in the works, which ones are closed out, etc. On the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see uh, at the top, that is if you have downloaded our mobile app, big key on that one. If you haven't yet, I would suggest doing that. The, the mobile app is going to be a great way to get your notifications quickly when you're out in the field, which we realize that the majority of you are out there swinging the hammer out there you know, on the job site and don't have time to sit there you know, looking your, at your computer. So download the app or you know, text messages. That's another great way of getting notified quickly. All right, speaking of your account, 24-7 access to your account, I'll tell you right now, uh, and I'm sure Mitch, you can agree, the, in our experience, our most successful companies are engaged with their account. They're familiar with it. What you're looking at right here on your screen is one feature of your accounts, your lead response dashboard. This is huge to see how your leads are being worked. I'm sure a percentage of you out there have uh, salespeople that you have following up with your leads. You have employees. You might not be the one following up. This is going to offer you great visibility into how your leads are being worked. You want to protect that investment and make sure that uh, they're being worked properly. The section below under settings and task opportunities is also uh, a key reason as to why uh, companies choose Home Advisor over a lot of other options. Flexibility and control are two of the most important things to any small business owner. I'm sure you all can agree out there, which is why it's extremely important for us 
to give you all as much control as possible. Everything from the services that you offer to the coverage area where you offer services as well as your lead flow. All of those things are designed so that as you grow your business, Home Advisor can grow along with you. Okay, now this screen, uh, we're extremely excited about some of these new features uh, that Home Advisor has brought into the mix with membership. Uh, and I think it's important to point out that, uh, you know, we didn't sit around in a, in a, in a pressure cooker cooking this stuff up. These, this is suggestions taken straight from the service professionals in our network over the course of the past 15 years. So thank you all out there for providing this feedback that continues to make HomeAdvisor uh, you know, a, a better service day after day after day. One of the things, actually two of them here you'll see on the screen, you have Instant Connect and Instant Booking. These two features of membership are the, the, the idea here is to make it easier to make connections with your customer as well as convert more leads to billable work. Instant Connect. When the homeowner submits a service request, they have the option. They click a little button that says Connect Now. If they click that, then what we're going to do is initiate a process where we call you, call your phone, you pick up your phone, then we call the homeowner, they pick up their phone and a match is made. We actually connect that uh, phone call live. Instant booking. Those of you out there who have uploaded your calendar to your Home Advisor profile, this is great because a homeowner is going to have the option to look at your calendar and schedule the best time for their appointment. At that point, we're going to notify you that you have an appointment, give you the homeowner's phone number, and if you're sharp, right, you're probably going to want to uh, call up that homeowner and confirm the appointment. Okay. M Help Desk, this is a, another uh, a big win for Home Advisor membership. Um, what we did is we took all of the feedback that you've been providing with us, went out and acquired a company called M Help Desk. One of the big pieces of feedback that we got is that, you know, as contractors, you know, we love to be out in the field working, love to be out there, you know, actually uh, doing the work. However, when it comes to the paperwork portion of it, not so fun, right? That's not the glamorous part of the job. That's where M Help Desk comes in. M Help Desk offers a back office software that's designed to help you with everything from uh, work order tracking, scheduling and dispatching, I mean, heck, even uh, printing up professional estimates, invoicing, and collecting credit card payment on the spot. Feedback that we've been getting back, Mitch, you can probably speak more to this, but uh, great feedback from the companies that are using it. Yeah, people that use it love it. It, it. it takes the stuff they like doing the very least right off their hands for them. What's not to like about that, right? Oh, absolutely. All right, let's take a look at some best practices and strategies for uh, you, the service professionals that we've gleaned over the years from some of our most successful service professionals. Uh, first point. Respond to leads within 15 minutes. I would say seconds is even better than that. Minutes is okay, but hours, forget about it. If you can do that within 15 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, you double your chances of making contact with that homeowner. So pretty critically important there. The next point, make a second call if needed. That second call, that additional call, will increase your chances of contacting a prospective customer by 87%. Again, critically important. Leave a voicemail if needed. Use all options for communication. Some people like to be emailed, some people like text. Communicate with people they like to be communicated with. And when you're leaving that voicemail, leave a warm, engaging message that makes people want to make contact with you and discuss their project with you. Uh, Quick story on, on the importance of those warm messages. I was talking to a, another one of our uh, homeowners I'm familiar with who they had just submitted a service request to have a bunch of, you know, 50 foot tall dying cottonwoods taken down out of their backyard before they fell and destroyed the house. They submitted that service request, and literally the next day they found out that an immediate family member was going to be dealing with a very serious health crisis. Basically, for the next three months, if they weren't at work, they were dealing with that situation. Yeah. 
they weren't following up on that project, right? That obviously got moved to the back burner. Life got put on hold, yeah. Here's the range of responses they received. Uh, one of the SPs they were matched with uh, left them one message, and that was the end of it. Mm -hmm. A second SP that they were matched with left them a series of messages which became increasingly impatient and unpleasant. Uh -oh. That was the second option. The third option was a company that made polite professional contact and continued to about every three or four weeks just leave them a message and let them know, hey, if you, know, if you still have needs, we're here to help, hope everything's going okay. Yep. Well, that health crisis finally resolved itself you know, several months later. Their lives are getting back to normal. Which of those three you know, companies did they go with? Oh, yeah, clearly the one that uh, you know, had that warm contact every month. Yeah, and, and to me the big takeaway there, for, you know, for two of those service professionals, you know, this in, you know, in their mind, this was a bad lead. Yeah. For the third one that did the warm, professional, polite, engaging follow-up, it ended up being about $4,000 worth of work. So big difference in the approach. Absolutely. And one thing, too, to, to add on to that, I know a lot of, uh, you know, companies out there kind of uh, ha ask themselves the question, you know, how, how soon to follow up uh, that second time, that second and third time. Um, you know, guys, you, your, your goal is to get in contact with the homeowner. Uh, you know, I've heard everything from call them, call them twice in a day, call them the next day. Obviously, you don't want to run, you know, become, become the stalker, calling them 20, 30 times a day. You don't want to show up at their house, right, without speaking to the homeowner. Uh, but diligent follow-up, you know, a couple times a day, follow-up, uh, you know, a week down the road, make, making that effort to use all the contact uh, that we've given. You know, another good tip I've heard from a lot of our SPs along those lines, David, is calling back, trying to make that contact at different times during the day, right? Yeah. Don't call them at 8.15 in the morning five days in a row, right? Vary things. Give yourself a better chance to catch them while they're in, at home and in a position to talk. Great point. Uh, second point here is complete your Home Advisor online profile. Critically important, that, you know, this is the way you're creating your electronic calling card for all of these homeowners. You've got the opportunity here to basically create a business overview and if you've got a tagline or a motto or a logo that separates you from your competition, this is your place to get that in front of people. We have a very robust uh, application that allows you to provide photos of your work, again of your logos. A lot of you are going to be in areas where this makes complete sense to you. You see how a before and after picture of an addition or remodel, things of that. You know, mm -hmm. if you're painting the exterior of a house, before and after. Some of you might struggle with that a little bit, right? If I'm I'm, I'm installing hot water heaters, what right. you know, even there, I've seen before and after pictures of something like that where you saw the rusty old one with the sloppy plumbing, blown out bottom of the hot water heater, water all over the place. And then here's the new one, and the flex lines are run perfectly, and it's crisp and clean and squared away. That can make a difference. And the other thing I, I like to emphasize to people is that human beings react to human faces. Yeah. So absolutely get pictures of yourself, your crews. If you've got a truck uh, you know, with your logo and your signage on it, get a picture of you and your folks standing out in front of the truck. Absolutely. You know, and what else that does, guys, you know, we talked about it at the beginning of the call here. What we're doing is emulating that word of mouth, that sense of community. So if you have a picture of yourself up there, a picture of your truck, your logo, uh, you know, odds are good that homeowner is going to be able to see that and say, oh, wow, I've seen this truck driving around the neighborhood, right? That's the association that you want, and that is when the feel of community really comes into play. Great point, David. And following up on that sense of community idea, this is also where we're going to give you the opportunity to point out any memberships or affiliations you have. We know a lot of you belong to various professional organizations that are devoted to you know, promoting your professions and driving best practices yeah. and good customer service for your homeowners and so forth. If you belong to one of those, if you're on a board, if you're volunteering some of your time along those lines, that stuff speaks to homeowners. This is your chance to call that out. Absolutely. You can also call out the brands you're familiar with, the brands you use, the brands you service. Uh, homeowners, a lot of times, will be looking for somebody that's, you know, 
familiar with their specific HVAC system, their specific appliance, their specific roofing system, call out everything you're familiar with, just makes the connection that much easier for the homeowner. Yeah. All right, ratings and reviews. Critically important. One of the strongest features here is the ability of homeowners to go look at ratings and reviews. We all know how important ratings and reviews are nowadays, right? David, do you go to a restaurant without checking a rating and review on it? No, nor do we uh, book a vacation without looking at the reviews on the hotel. Right. Yelp, TripAdvisor, people are just accustomed to and expect ratings and reviews. So again, we're here to help with that. We will help you reach out to former customers to get some good solid ratings and reviews going for you. And Strong, strong statistic here. If you have at least three good ratings and reviews, you're three times more likely to win jobs. Hard to emphasize that enough. And I'll, I'll, tell, I'll share a little story here of, of one of our service professionals who I think really gets this and does a good job with this. Yeah. And it just happened to be the guy that, uh, that came out to install my swamp cooler a few <laughs> years ago. <laughs> he comes out and of course he has no idea who I am or where I work or anything. And once we'd selected him to do the work, he did this. He says, Mr. Anderson, as a home advisor customer, it is critically important to me that at the end of our time together, you are able to give me a good, solid rating and review. He said, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure you're able to do that. How's that sound? That sounds great. He said, can, is it fair for me to ask you to take ownership if at any point, as we're working on this, if you're not completely happy and satisfied, will you immediately bring that to my attention so I can do what's necessary to rectify the situation and earn that rating and review? Absolutely, fair enough. The end of the job, he then reminded me of that. And he said, Are, is everything completely to your satisfaction? Absolutely. He said, can you commit to me to take three or four minutes out of your day and get with Home Advisor and give me that rating and review, and of course I'm happy to do it. There you go. And that's truly taking ownership right there. Uh, and that was a guy, that was a little one-man, you know, yeah. shop who was competing with, with Sears and people like that, yeah. and he was doing it in, in holding his own because he knew how to solicit and get and achieve those great ratings and reviews. You know, and it's stories like that that make me so happy to be here and to, you know, hear, hear this type of success over and over again. Like we said, it's a reputation thing, right? Um, and, and that brings us to this best practices review. You know, while we're on the topic, check out number three, taking ownership. That story is a great example of how to take ownership. As a matter of fact, all of these things that fall under the best practices center around taking ownership. Um, being professional, controlling the things you can. The, you, there's a lot of tools at your disposal, you know, with the Home Advisor membership. However, the tool is only as effective as the person using that. We're, we're speaking to contractors here. You all know exactly what I mean. You're not going to use a drill, uh, you know, to try to saw off the end of a board, okay? Use, use the tools available to you. With that, number one, respond quickly. I think we've covered it, calling within minutes if possible. Number two, follow up, okay? Uh, and again, following up guys at different points in the day. One thing we haven't uh, mentioned is uh, the emails. We do provide a homeowner email. Shoot them an email. Uh, use the, the contact methods that we've provided. And then lastly, understand that it is a numbers game. Um, we're here to set the, the expectation for you. If we send 10 leads and you're expecting to land 10 jobs, then please let me be the voice that tells you that is not going to happen. We need to talk about expectations, okay? Um, return on investment, knowing what that looks like. I'll, I'll give you a couple of examples. In the you know, better part of a decade that I've been doing this, we have two different types of mindsets. One mindset will lead you to uh, a place of stress in your own mind and probably not the best example or uh, the best uh, uh, experience with Home Advisor. That's looking at the service on a lead-by-lead -lead basis. If you're evaluating the effectiveness of the service after every single individual lead that's sent to you, I promise you you're going to stress yourself out. Why do I say that? 
Well, you know, one homeowner may hire you. Great, off to a nice start. The next one doesn't call you back. Maybe the next one changes their mind. Maybe the next one hires a different company. It happens, guys. That's part of the numbers game, right? So you have the second school of thought, which is the successful companies that have been using us for you know, year after year after year. And the way that they tend to look at the service is more on return on investment. At the end of each month, they'll tally up how much money they spent on leads and then tally up how much money they made on the jobs they won out of those leads. And at the end of the month, if they're making money, then that's how that's, the service is working. One thing I'll point out with the return on investment, feedback that we've gotten from companies that have used us uh, for an extended period of time, tell us that their return on investment gets better over time. Same thing that you run into when you're building your word of mouth business, right? It takes seeds in your garden to grow the garden. So what I mean by that is you'll pull referrals, you'll get word of mouth from the homeowners that we send you as long as you show them a good experience. They'll also hire you back. They'll you know, refer you out to their friends and family. They'll hire you for other jobs, and thereby you know, you'll see your return on investment get better over time. All right, quickly, let's cover billing. This is pretty easy. This is uh, nuts and bolts of how the service works. What you're looking at here is a screenshot of your account. Um, there's a real-time running statement on your account, so you'll always know uh, what you're being billed for, and we do our billing every Friday. Pretty easy there. Lastly, member discounts. Um, a lot of, a lot of uh, new members are unaware that you get discounts to certain places just by being a member of Home Advisor. What we did is, you know, sat and thought about, okay, well, where, what are, what are good discounts that our members would be shopping at anyway? What are things that you would be using anyway? Things like Jiffy Lube. I'm sure a lot of you out there have trucks or a fleet of trucks that you need oil changes uh, uh, for. Great, 15% off at Jiffy Lube. My Locker. A lot of you are going to want a professional. Um, professional image when you, with your employees going out to, the, to a homeowner's house, embroidered shirts, what have you. Great. My Locker is going to offer you a 10% off discount just for being a member of Home Advisor. Uh, Lowe's. A lot of you are probably shopping at Lowe's, so you get 5% off at Lowe's. Uh, and the list goes on. You can find that under the member discount portion of your, uh, of your account. All right, guys, I know we you know, a lot of information that we threw at you. I'm sure a lot of you still have a, a lot of questions uh, pertaining to your, to your own situations out there. Um, you have the phone number there on your screen to call in. But with the last couple of minutes that we have, let's address some of the questions that have been coming out through the course of the webinar here. It looks like a couple of people have asked, uh, what's the best way to make sure they're coming up in the directory and being where people can see them? Yeah. Short answer to that is, keep your leads on, stay active for match, indicating that you want to be matched, and you know, take great care of our customers, get those good ratings and reviews. And again, I'll double back to the way we can help with ratings and reviews. Call in, give us the names of people you've done work for. We will reach out to them and solicit those ratings and reviews for those and get those onto your profile for you. Um, looks like another question we've got is, uh, What's the time frame in which the leads turn to jobs? That's a great question. That's a great question, and that's going to depend on a lot of factors. Obviously, you know, when your hot water heater went out, that right. lead is going to turn into a job really quickly. Immediately. If you're dealing with a higher consideration task like an addition, getting the basement finished off, that's going to be a whole different time frame. Sure. So no one easy answer to that, but most people I talk to want to get in contact with those homeowners earlier in that, that, uh, that lead time rather than later. You know, so additions and remodels as an example, I think most of you would rather get in touch with that homeowner early on rather than when they've you know, got some things in mind that they're going to try to you know, take out a load-bearing wall and you have to tell them they can't do it. <laughs> right. So it, it's just really going to depend. You know, I think, I think another way of looking at this one too um, is, you know, we're not we're not changing you, you know your sales cycle. We're looking to enhance it, right? So the way that you've been accustomed to going out and running your estimates and your sales process, keep going with that. If you implement some of these tools that Home Advisor offers, you should get more efficient with it. But we're not looking to change how you're out there doing you know running your own business. 
Okay, I think we've got time for one more question here, and uh, we're getting the question, um, what's too soon to make a second call? That's a good question, too. I would say, you know, if you've, if you've called and left a message in the morning, nothing wrong with maybe trying back later that afternoon or in the evening, catch them to see if they're home. You don't necessarily have to leave a message that time. Uh, so you can sort of alternate calling, just trying to make contact, and calling, leaving messages. And I would say once or twice a day is not excessive if they're spaced apart appropriately. Sure. We're about out of time at this point. I will remind everybody that this recording will be available. This will be sent out to everybody. If you missed anything, had to step out of the room or anything, this will uh, this will be sent your way. I fully appreciate. We haven't had time to answer all the questions you've had. Yeah, guys, I, we see the questions coming in. Please, please, we want we want to hear from you. Call the number on your screen there, and and let's uh, let's get your questions answered. We we're definitely here to help, and want to make sure that you're starting off on the best foot with Home Advisor. Looking forward to talking with you. Thanks, everybody.